know. Just don't kick me, it'll be fine. Good morning, everyone. Out with the A1, 100 or 400. Friend Lucy's joined me today as well. And uh, we're on the hunt for some wild ponies. So they are basically somewhere there in the distance hiding. So we've got to try and find where they are. We're up at Beachy Head. In East Sussex. So I've got the RX10 Mark IV as well in the bag. So just a bit of a snappy snappy and see what we can get. I think we're on the right track. We have found some dung. We found them. We have found the ponies. Beautiful day. Yesterday we had tons of wind and rain. It was just disgusting. Proper winter, and then you know, I was one laying down. <laughs> well, I'll keep moving. You go too close. Absolutely beautiful up here today, guys. We've got horses everywhere. Beach your head. We've got behind as well. We've got the other lighthouse up there. We're going to walk up to there shortly and then look down the other side where you can see the other lighthouse in the distance. My hair, what the hell's going on? A bit windswept up here. Let's calm down. We're in a bit of a, a sheltered bit, but it's a little bit windy when you go down the other side. Uh, Lucy's down there somewhere. There she is up the distance. Snapping away at the horses as well. She's now, she went from Nikon to the Sony a7 III recently. She's absolutely loving it, which is great. Let her have a play with the, uh, the A1 shortly. Um, yeah, just a fabulous day out. Lovely morning. We got up early this morning. I've got some interesting, uh, I went to a, basically go and look at a job this morning and absolutely uh, interesting job engineering and uh, cool stuff. So watch out for the some videos of that vlog uh, vlogging and stuff because they've got a YouTube channel they're going to be doing as well. So really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, let's go and have a lovely wander around. It's not even cold, it feels it's about five degrees Celsius, but it feels a lot warmer in the sun. It's lovely. Anyway, I'm going to go and wander. So, obviously having the RX-10 Mark IV with me gives me a few extra options that even the A1 can't do, like 500 frames per second slow motion, 1,000 frames per second slow motion. So, do be able to do this sort of stuff, just for a bit of fun, is always cool. So yeah, at 600 millimeters as well, or 24, or anything in between. Go on, have it. Oh, I must feel nice. Oh yeah. I mean, if you haven't got hands and you've got an itchy bum, you use a bush, especially a gorse bush, because they're really spiky. That's well funny. He looks, he looks happy. Is <laughs> that give you a kissy, kissy? <laughs> bye bye. That's worth more than you, horse. Yes, it is. Hello. Have an itch. <laughs> so, if you don't have a gimbal, so this is on the RX10 Mark IV, and they've just put it in to the um, A74, which is an intelligent stabilisation, and the RX10 Mark IV's had it for a long time but obviously due to its processing speeds and stuff like that it can't do it in 4k um, so you do it in HD and uh, basically it stabilizes your footage a bit like a GoPro on your mobile phone does by cropping in slightly but as you walk around it should become quite steady even though I'm pretty bad at walking and holding the camera at the same time so my footage is never that brilliant but I'm hand holding it with one hand just out in front of me and I'm just walking and it should look relatively smooth compared to if it's not on. But you have to shoot in HD rather than 4K, which is no real drama in the real world. It's 
mean, I'm on very rough ground, as you can see. It's like rocks everywhere, so every now and again you sort of stumble. Lisa's doing a little bit of video, she's got an ND filter on. Is it? What make was it? Uh, KNF. Oh, it's KNF. That's a variable ND filter, which is very good for video, not so good for stills. Is he having a proper scratch? <laughs> you having a scratch? Oh, yeah, is that nice? Is it? <laughs> yeah? Is that nice? Oh, yes. Scratchy, scratchy. <laughs> Let's see how smooth this is. Are those tiny horses? Yeah. I'm so tempted to go, no, I just shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> Little horses. Yeah, just about that's it. Um, so we're going to walk behind, actually the sun's looking good. Behind the lighthouse right here. So there's a wall in the way. But, look at that. It's just gone behind it, I need to go back a bit. I need to come back a bit just to get... I don't think it's going to work though. But it looks quite cool, actually. Oh, there's another big crack as well, yeah. Yeah, it won't be long before that goes again. Another one. That's the worrying bit. Is... So this path used to run from right down to the bottom there, where those people were walking. And then you'd walk straight up through here. Uh, but about, I think I'd imagine 10,000 tonnes of chalk fell down. So you can't go along there anymore. It's proper dodge. But as you can see there, there's a huge crack appearing again. So that'll be another bit that'll fall down eventually. It's very, very dangerous being anywhere near the edges, really. Especially when you've had some serious heavy rain, wind, storms through the winter. It's pretty crazy. But it's absolutely stunning up here. Absolutely love it up at Beachy Head. It's just one amazing place. It's huge. It's just open. It's just absolutely stunning. RX-10 Mark IV having a lot more dynamic range than I actually imagined actually um, compared to that was the kind of original shot that would have been uh, but upping the shadows it really still shines quite nicely it's pretty good as you can see Lucy was in the first shot some of the other shots I took because we're quite high up uh, looking down on the uh, the really nice road it's a great driving road lots of cars being filmed up there all the time uh, for magazines and things like that this shot here I've never really taken before, even though I've taken lots of pictures of the uh, lighthouse, so I just happened to be at a better angle and just managed to get it sort of tucking around the corner of the cliff there. Uh, onto the A1 now, all the other stuff beforehand was sort of a uh, RX-10 Mark IV, sorry. Um, and this is some of the video clips and some photos from the A1. So absolutely performing brilliantly, but as still does the RX-10 Mark IV. Uh, you know, absolutely brilliant combo. Oh, a little bit, of, a little bit of love there. A bit of scratching. So this shot here was actually just taken on the on the short. Oh, sorry, on the floor. Uh, I just basically held the camera down, and aimed roughly at the horse, and it just works quite nicely because he was just staring at me. I thought it was just quite a cool shot. Uh, another one, the horse is walking up the hill very slowly. Uh, but just the cliffs in the background and stuff just made it a bit interesting. Just thought it was kind of cool. Um, like I say, shoot, shooting with the uh, 100 or 400 G Master on or uh, obviously the other camera, the RX10 Mark IV. But all these shots from now are from the A1. Brilliant camera, absolutely loving it. I autofocus on horses it is a little bit hit and miss due to obviously the different colours of horses you can get and um, patterns and things like that. So sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's not really the end of the world. Uh, because you can just focus manually, um, obviously with your focus points and stuff. Uh, one of the ferries out to sea, it goes from New Haven to Boulogne, I think, something like that. Um, it was an absolutely lovely day, so the horses were just lovely in the sun. They were just literally just pretty much standing around, either eating grass or gorse bushes, as you do. 
uh, this crow came in and basically was pissing the horse off but he landed on him and ripped a bit of fur out of his um, back and as you can see there he doesn't look very impressed this shot here had actually taken a couple of seconds later uh, which is the shot I was actually heading for um, obviously got the cliffs in the background another horse in the distance slightly out of focus uh, and it just works quite nicely I think a couple of flower shots on the gorse bushes I think they're gorse bushes um, just beautiful colours of yellow everywhere um, just needed butterflies and bees and things like flying around but obviously it's still a little bit cold for those uh, walked down to that next horse it was obviously out of focus in the previous shot just another another view um, just a gentleman there sat there admiring the view it was just a little bit of a black and white I thought it kind of suited it rather than colour um, just a little bit of experimentation really and just uh, another day out just experimenting really um, this is from a tyre track in the mud as we walk back down to the car park I just saw it and thought, you know, it's quite interesting. Uh, just shot straight down to the ground. And as we went down onto the beach, um, dog paws, you know, in the sand. I thought, looks okay. It's never quite what your eyesight sees. It's, it's always difficult to get correct. Um, possibly a grandmother taking their grandchild out for a, a wander on the beach. Uh, some dog walkers and stuff in the background. Just thought it was quite cool. Just worked quite nicely, especially in black and white. As you can see, there are people up on the top of the cliffs, obviously doing walks and stuff few people in the middle there a little bit too close for comfort but hey okay. and then some slow motion with the uh, a1 uh, 250 frames a second and 120 frames per second obviously 120 frames a second I'll do 4k uh, 250 frames I think we can do HD so really handy it's just a shame that Sony haven't stuck in the uh, 500 and a thousand frames per second in HD it would have been amazing uh, you know from the RX10 would have been awesome absolutely brilliant to uh, have there so with the A1 I was just messing around with different video settings just experiment and it's really super clear especially with that 100 or 400 uh, G Master on it was fantastic um, you know all in either 4k 120 which I've slowed down a little bit and it just looks really lovely and smooth um, just really quite nice and you know it's it's just another option of use to try and be a little bit creative um 8k um i think i might use that 8k is for is just kind of filming the moon so i can get a little bit closer with a bit of cropping back down to sort of 4k or something but 8k i don't really know i mean my pc runs it fine um but unfortunately not many things use it at the moment so it's just a bit of overkill but it's there if i ever need it in the future um, most of the time I think I'm going to be using this which is the 4k 120 so it means you can slow it down quite nicely four times which is really nice and smooth and just looks cool and you've also got sound as well running all, always you know which is really really nice um, if you want to use it obviously I've, I've muted it just so I can uh, carry on talking with uh, not too much background noise but I might bring it in for a second or so just so you can hear it um, but yeah, really, really lovely day out. And like I say, we went back up earlier. Um, it was sort of 5 degrees Celsius, but it felt sort of like 15. Um, Kestrel, I believe. It was, uh, yeah, hovering a bit too far away, unfortunately, so I've cropped in a little bit. And I couldn't remember how to do um, on sensor zooming, you know, uh, clear and resume in video. And I, I have set it up, and I couldn't remember which buttons. Because it's completely new to me, obviously, the A1. So it's it's just the way it works is very different. So I'm, st I'm learning on the go all the time. But um, really, really cool to see. Um, relatively close. It was about 100 metres away, I suppose. Um, he's obviously hunting. But the next video clip, it just carries on. And uh, just watch his face as another bird comes in from the left-hand side. Um, and he really look. I mean, obviously it happened in... There you go. So he's looking now just wondering what's going on but he hardly even you know moved away from his position whilst he was hunting uh he did actually as soon as it's typical I, as soon as i sort of um stopped recording about two seconds later he dived down and obviously had something i was like ah so you just never know with wildlife what's going to happen so you know it's sometimes it's worth just doing clips and videos and and then trying to get the photos but sometimes it just doesn't work in your favor uh last couple of photos are Porsche going past and up on the up on the downs we went a bit further up and there was a Lamborghini there as well they were doing some filming and, and stuff to do with um, some kind of promotional uh, company uh, but there's cars up there all the time and it's just interesting to see obviously I like I like love cars um, uh, and designs and things like that so it was really nice to be able to uh, 
<clears throat> see a couple of cars up there, which was cool. Um, other than that, it was really great day out, great day out with um, Lucy there, just going for a wander, and uh, she's learning loads all the time. It's very, um, she did it at college and everything, uh, photography. So she's out and about. She's got a new job as well um, at the moment, doing some photography work, which is good. So she's doing well, and uh, she just needs to get earning a bit more to build up that lens collection. So she's uh, looking at a prime, a couple of primes next, possibly. Um, a couple other bits so um, I'll leave her Instagram below and uh, go and give her a follow so you can see what she's up to some really good stuff actually uh, really enthusiastic and very passionate about what she does but days out like this just going for a casual walk and just playing with the cameras and experimenting uh, just having a chat it's, it's really a good way of actually staying in practice and trying new things because you know we're out and about I saw loads of different things we could photograph um, and it's not just the same sort of portraiture or advertising shots and stuff like that. So, you know, it's it's good to do something a little bit different every now and again. Anyway, um, don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be lots more coming very soon. We can get back out. Uh, hopefully the weather improves. Well, actually, we might get some snow, but who knows, uh, being February. Um, but yeah, I shall see you soon. Take care.